In this video, I'll show you how to play AP Electric Q Katarina and how I easily 1v9 hard carry my team. In this game, I'm against Aatrox. Generally, you don't beat Aatrox in a 1v1 early game as he will out damage you, so taking Conquer is not as beneficial. I want to take Electric Q this game and go AP Katarina just to poke him down with my Qs and make short trades and instantly get up. Right now, my game plan is to let Aatrox push into me so I can look for ganks and so I can be more safe against the enemy jungler. It's okay to take trades here just to bait his abilities out because I know my jungler is coming over and I have 3 pots. So my jungler flashes onto Aatrox, I see an opportunity to kill him and I quickly get the kill onto Aatrox and I immediately E out so Echo cannot kill me. I could have went back into Echo but I didn't think Echo would come back into my Evelyn. And Aatrox teleports in so I back off. I don't have my abilities so I cannot help Evelyn. But Evelyn procs her combo off onto Ezreal and there's an opportunity for me to go in after Ezreal's used all of his abilities. I see my bot lane coming in so I quickly move towards bot lane just in case Aatrox continues to chase me. So I got 2 quick kills off of that early skirmish which is really beneficial. Now my wave is in a really awkward situation. Because I'm low, I don't have any potions. So my only option is to force TP back to mid. With my insane gold lead early game, I tend to get Hexac Alternator which gives amazing burst damage. Generally, into champions that you cannot beat in a long fight, you want to go AP. I quickly poke Aatrox as he walks onto my dagger and I quickly use my W to escape with the movement speed. I see that my team is skirmishing at the enemy blue buff but I see that they are winning so I decide not to go, until Aatrox decides to follow too. Aatrox decides not to hit the plant which allows me to eat onto the plant and jump over the wall giving a Q onto Fiora. And here I don't chase the Fiora because I know she's going to die to either Kled or my red buff and my next step is to jump onto the Aatrox. And I pick up a quick double kill and his lane due to the minion size that he's going to lose is basically over. I see Evelyn getting collapsed on by Echo and I know that I can at least trade her off if she dies and luckily we get the Echo kill without even Evelyn dying. So now what have we accomplished here? We got mid super head because I killed the Aatrox and everyone and now with my gold and my wave crash in I can get a good reset and come back to lane. Now I already have 9 stacks of dark seal so I know my damage output will be super high. My next goal is to try to extend my lead onto other lanes so my team will not get taken advantage of. If bot lane starts losing, then it could be bad. So I know I can easily poke out Aatrox if he walks even closer to the dagger. So Aatrox uses all of his abilities and I look to seize my opportunity to make a trade with him. He misses his W with, because I have so much movement speed from my Relentless Hunter and you see how I don't ignite because I know my damage is enough to kill Aatrox without blowing my ignite and I save the ignite for later. Now that Aatrox is 0-4, I quickly shove in the wave so he will miss even more minions when he comes back and I get a tower plate. Now this Aatrox is not even able to play the game anymore. He comes back to lane but he knows he can't really do much against me. Our bot lane starts losing which kind of makes the game a lot slower and our top lane is not even that ahead even, even with the lead because he got solo killed earlier. So Aatrox knows he cannot walk up and he'll just get poked to death if he does try to walk up, just like that. So I quickly shove the wave to apply pressure. So he knows that he cannot walk up and if I decide to roam or not, then they will, the enemies will start backing off or playing a lot more safe. I could try to dive the Aatrox here, but I don't want to risk my bounty and my gold just in case I go here. Because I know I can 2v1 them out of turret. So I know with my jungler we can definitely dive the Aatrox and I feel a lot more safe even if Echo comes. And I quickly burst him down and E away to get rid of the tower aggro. Since Echo is only level 5 and he just used his W there, I know me and my jungler can easily dive him. So we can pick up another kill. I have 10 stacks of Dark Seal and I'm just continuously pushing the tower. 
Now, with my gold, I don't want to overstay because I still want to look for other gank opportunities so I know I can back and get my rocket belt. Our top lane gets solo killed again, which kind of sucks, but I'm so ahead right now that him dying, as long as it's not continuously dying, is not that bad. Now, my game plan is to shove in mid lane, either look for a kill or start roaming. So it looks like the enemy bot lane is playing under tower, so I can't roam bot lane, but I can hard shove mid lane and apply pressure just to not be on the map, or we can dive to Aatrox and grab the tower. Aatrox tries to run away, but I'm, I have Proto Belt and I'm Katarina, fed Katarina, so he, can, he will not be able to escape. Since I have Relentless, Hunter, even with his ultimate movement speed, I have more movement speed than him. So we get the first tower, which opens up so much of the map for me to be able to go into the enemy jungle without feeling threatened. So Echo gets his W off, so I know we cannot dive in, otherwise we would force too much, since Evelyn did not have ult. So now I need to just shove the wave, so Aatrox is forced to stay on the tower and try to look bot lane with my jungler. My top lane dies solo again, but right now I'm not worried about top lane, as I'll focus on the top lane later. So we've got the quick Yumi kill, Caitlyn tries to run away, but I'm just so fed that I don't even need to waste my ult on Caitlyn. So now that I'm done with bot, I need to get my top lane back into the game, or try to like, slow down the enemy top laner. So I go top, I quickly grab the double kill, and I reset and I get my items. I decide to go Medjai's because I'm so ahead, so I try to extend my lead even more. So now that no objectives are up, my game plan now is just to look for fights and try to get more towers bot lane to open up the map even more. Since my Kled is forcing mid, I don't want to share minions with him, so I try to look either mid or top to get even more turret plates before they fall down. I always have my teleport open, so even if any fight happens bot lane, I can just easily teleport in. I see Furo by herself here, so I quickly grab a Furo kill. And I didn't see the echo, so echo flashes onto me, and I give my shutdown gold, which is really bad. And I lose my stacks, but this is just a small setback for me, and I can deal with it. As you can see, sometimes going top lane might be bad, especially if you're pushing too far up without vision. This can cause you to lose your lead and slowly lose the game, even though you're so far ahead, as Echo just got 700 gold. And glad trying to 1v1 the Echo isn't helping the case either. But yeah, as you can see, we have a 1-5 Gled, which really is bad for the game. And our bot lane isn't doing too hot as well. I don't want to force onto the Fura because I don't know if Echo is still in the bush waiting for me, just cheesing like a W to stun me. I do know that I can 1v1 Fura as long as I get my full combo off without her parrying any of my daggers. I get the Fura kill, and I still have teleport, so I quickly shove in the wave and... I know I should not waste too much time to off, but this is just because I want my team to get some sort of fight happening without me so they can bait me and I can use my teleport later. I don't want to force TP in yet because I still need to grab my items from base and regen some HP before I TP in. I see Echo trying to run away, so I TP onto a flank ward and try to catch up to him. Now I see Evelyn also there, so I want her to collapse on the team. So I ping her to go in. Unfortunately, Kaylin lives, but I am able to get onto the Aatrox here. Echo quickly grabs Clyde kill and tries to run away. It is a tough task chasing Ayumi and Echo. I do have over 10 stacks of Medjai's and I have Relentless Hunter, so I should be able to catch up with my team. I get exhausted, which sets me back even more. And here, could have been really bad. Yumi tanks my Q. So my Q will automatically follow Echo. I didn't mean to R there because I didn't think Echo and Yumi would be that fast. But good news is I have Electrocute and I'm able to quickly burst in. Sphira tries to come in and kill us, but I know I can outplay her with my dagger placements, especially if I have my Evelyn here. 
With those kills out of the way, I have 22 stacks of Magi's and I quickly take a back. Since I have enough damage from my Magi stacks, I decide to go Zonia's and get a stopwatch because me dying and losing the stacks is very bad and can easily turn around the game for the enemy team. I decided to also get a sweeper so I can play with vision and try to get flanks. I see dragon coming up soon so I quickly shove in mid because you always want to get mid prowl before playing for dragon fight. My team is already late to the dragon so I don't want to go in by myself since we don't have a lot of vision there. So I just wait for my team to come. I see Clegg getting caught off again. I try to run up because I have my Magi stacks. Echo also wait. I quickly burst down Fiora and I try to catch up to the Echo here. I play with my vision and I assume that he's going to E over the wall and I was correct. And I get to kill him before he gets away and burn his flash. So grabbing those two kills is huge since it puts them at a very bad pace as they, didn't, they only got a clad kill and we got both Rift Herald and we got Dragon. So I want to try and crack down this mid tur turret so I can grab even more presence on the map. Clad TP's in, I see it as Rift Herald too so I know we can start cracking the turrets and quickly bursting down the enemy team. I quickly burst down the Aatrox with my ult and I try to kill Fiora too. And I see Echo coming. I want to quickly burst down Echo, but he had more burst damage than me, and I thought I would have killed him, so I didn't Sonia's. That was my bad. But we do get all three of the carry kills, and we get Rift Herald down, so we are able to destroy all the outer towers. For some reason, my team is scared of Caitlyn and Yumi, so we don't get in him. I do get my Zonia's, which is really beneficial for team fights, so I can play a lot more aggressive and into a safe place. I'm still far ahead of the enemies because I'm level 13, and the enemies are still level 11. And especially Balin, who's still level 8 and 9. So now I'm ahead enough to just call my team in ARAM mid. That's my goal of the gameplay, to try to get that in hip so we can crack down the enemy towers. Since my team has took a reset, I decided to start clearing some vision so we have a better positioning for team fights. See Fiora top by herself and I know Echo and the enemy Balin are still at mid. So I quickly burst Fiora down. I bait out her parry and I grab the quick kill. I don't see anyone on the map, so I assume Echo and them are trying to come up for me, and I quickly leave since my team is not here. I don't know who else is here, and I don't want to face check Echo without my ult, so I try to wait out my ult. I get exhausted, and I use my ult. Echo R's, and I get basically all summoners from Echo and Yumi here. My clad goes in. I know I can't go in, so I bait out the Echo with my proto belt, and I get out, and I go back in, bait him out even more. And Bane ease him onto a wall, and I know I've done enough, I got all of their abilities out, and my team is able to finish it up. I take a reset here because I know I have TP, and I can just TP back in if they continue to fight. But since I already met my team so many times, I have 27 kills, or 27 kill participation at 20 minutes. The enemy team is just so behind. And now I just want to end the game with my jungler since they're already pushing mid, so I quickly come down, and I want to clear the wave as fast as possible. So Echo comes in, and I quickly just one-shot him down. Because I'm so ahead, I instantly one-shot the Aatrox too with my baiting, and I get the Fiora for the pentakill. I didn't eat, eat onto the W dagger there because I thought she would parry it, so I just waited her, for her parry, but she never used it, and I quickly just bursted her with my ult. And there it goes, the game is done. We just quickly end the game here, and that is how you 1v9 carry on Katarina. You have a girl, she was fake to me, and everywhere I went, people hate on me, and they doubt on me, and they laughed at me, and they clown on me. I don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you, so don't talk to me, I don't talk to you, you are not to me.